good evening and welcome to the late news from Tyne Seas. First tonight, the headlines. Eight charged with violent disorder after an incident on a coach. And the hunt for the killer of a North Yorkshire widow continues over Christmas. A lorry carrying acid has leaked onto a car park near the Riverside Roundabout in Stockton. Cleveland police have warned local residents to stay indoors and keep their windows closed. Roads in the area have been sealed off. The nine casualties breathed in fumes. They were not seriously hurt. Well, joining me on the phone now is Chief Inspector Barry Monkman. What's the latest situation? Hello, John. Um, at the moment, the fire brigade have completed hosing down the tango. Um, this is to see whether or not the leak is in fact coming from uh, a valve or a, a manhole cover on the top of it, or whether it was spillage created when the tanker actually went under the car park itself. If it's the latter, then um, the incident should be over within the hour. If it isn't, then what we have is the need to uh, transfer the liquid from that tanker onto another one, and that may well take all night. Chief Inspector, thank you. Eight people from Sunderland have been charged with violent disorder after an incident on a National Express coach. And that's it from the newsroom tonight. We're back tomorrow. For now, good night. Time sees weather in association with Northeast Water. Hello, well, the weather's getting less and less Christmassy. A wee bit touch of ground frost in the south tonight, but come tomorrow morning, we're all getting mild. Up in the north here, this rain, 6 Celsius, that's 43 Fahrenheit. And come the afternoon, I think the only place that's staying dry is way down in the south here, and it's pretty chilly down there, 4 Celsius. Meanwhile, Morpeth's rising up to about 8, that's 46 Fahrenheit. So what about Christmas Day itself? Well, it just gets milder and milder, 9 Celsius. Just about everywhere is a very mild 48 Fahrenheit for this time of year. It's windy and it's wet. But by Boxing Day, we're turning a bit more Christmassy. We've got some snow on the hills and it's colder.